Hello, my name is Cynthia and I'm a career specialist here with the East Baton Rouge Parish Library Career Center. Today we'll walk through applying for the guest advocate position with Target. Before we get started, be sure to get your job search notebook to record your registration or log on information, username, password, name of company, the position you're applying for, and the date you apply. Also, any additional instructions or information that you might need regarding the application process. Be sure to have your thumb drive ready with the most up-to-date resume. And speaking of resumes, if you need assistance in preparing an up-to-date well-tailored resume, be sure to contact, contact the Career Center with the East Baton Rouge Parish Main Library at 7711 Goodwood Boulevard. Our number is 225-231-3733. Okay, now we're ready to begin. The first thing we're gonna do is go to target.com. T-A-R-G-E-T dot com. It's just that simple. And this is going to bring you to this screen right here. Now, Target is a very easy application to complete. You should do it in about 15, 20 minutes. However, it doesn't make it quite easy when you first log on, when you first enter into their, onto their website. So I didn't see anything that said careers, jobs, join us, employment. So I moved all the way down to the bottom here and I clicked on the symbol near more and here is careers. So we click on that and we're looking for a stores position. We can also click here and type in guest advocate since we already know what position we are searching for. We're gonna click search. Great, now it's giving us a lot of different jobs all over the country, and we're gonna click on location, and now we're gonna click search. It remembers that you searched once before, and now it's shown the different positions that's available. And so we're interested in the, the position right here for guest advocate. We're going to click on that and it brings us to the screen and it tells all about Target, all about service and engagement. So it gives you a lot of good, useful information. Of course, you want to read that. And once you've read that, you click apply now. Okay, great. Okay, great. Work somewhere you love. Okay, it brings you to a second screen with basically the same information. And we're gonna scroll down here, make sure that we've read everything and we're gonna click apply. Great, now this is the first time that Riley Woodson is applying for this position. So we're gonna click on create, a, a, create an account. Otherwise we would click sign in. Okay, and now we're going to put in our email address, which is R-I-L-W, R-I-L period W-O-O-D-S-O-N 9190 at yahoo.com. Okay, and we have created a password that doesn't give you any parameters or specifics about a password, but usually it is a minimum of eight characters and normally has to have a capital letter, some, some small letters, some numbers, and a symbol. So we're going to include all that to make sure that we pass the muster for the password. That's capital R, 237-W-O-O-D-S-O-N. One nine exclamation exclamation point. Okay, we're gonna do that again, and that was a capital R two three seven small w o o d s o n 
one nine exclamation point great we're going to click create account great now it says guest guest advocate we're going to move down here you can upload your resume and uploading your resume is going to make this application is sail through it's going to be so easy so we're going to click select file we have our thumb drive here and we're going to click on raleigh woodson raleigh woodson customer service it says successfully uploaded that was quick then we're going to click next great and so now we move down it filled in a lot of information for us great and what we're looking for anything that has an asterisk that may not be completed or filled in that's what we're going to make sure we take care of and here's one right here how did you hear about us click this okay great we're looking for target.com so i don't see target Dot com but target recruiter is also a great choice have you previously worked for target as a team member the answer would be no let's move to next great well, it looks like we're almost halfway there customer service representative wow let's correct the spelling in that Okay, and let's move down further. Great. I'm just going to make these some capitals. All right. Not necessary, but let's move on. Okay. Let's move down further. It's got all our information in here. It has our job title in the spot where the company's name should be. So we're gonna correct that. Okay, market retail clerk. Great, and this was, great. Gen 110, one okay. Now let's move down further. Everything else looks really good. Everything looks correct. Perfect. All right, now let's go next. We're over three fourths of the way there. Now let's answer this question. Are you legally authorized for employment in the United States? Yes, of course. If hired, are you able to provide proof of legal eligibility to work? Yes. Riley was born here in the US. Are you at least 18 years of age? Yes. Do you have experience in beauty? No, but willing to learn. Do you have experience in tech electronics? Yes. Please indicate, indicate how many years of experience you have in tech. Great, let's say one to three. Do you have experience in style, apparel, accessories? No, but willing to learn. Right, do you have experience in food? No, but willing to learn. Do you have experience on a retail sales floor? Yes. Please indicate how many years of experience Great, one to three. Do you have experience in warehousing? Yes. And please indicate number of years, one to three. We're moving rather rapidly down here. What positions are you most, oops, almost missed, missed one. Let's go back up. Uh-oh. Do you have experience in guest customer service? Yes, absolutely. One to three, absolutely. Now let's move down to answer these questions. 
What position are you most interested in? Guest advocate, front of store attendant, general merchandise expert, presentation expert, fulfillment expert, small format team member, inbound expert, reverse logistics expert, closing expert, great, or other. Raleigh is, has made himself available for most of the positions here. Are you open to hearing about similar available positions other than the one you're applying for? Uh, yes, absolutely. Are you willing to consider opportunities at other nearby target locations? Yes. Great, now let's move down further. We're looking for these asterisks. These are questions that must be answered. What is the average amount of time, non-seasonal, you have spent at your previous employer? Great, over a year. To prioritize the needs of our guests, are you generally available to work on weekends and holidays? Yes. Are you available to work Sundays? Yes. Let's scroll down. We're going to move that bar down. Great. Great. Please outline your general availability for Sundays. We're going to click anytime. And Monday is asked, are you available to work on Monday? Yes. Are you available to work? And what time on Monday? We're going to say anytime. And this is going to be the question through the rest of the week. Are you available to work Tuesday? Yes. What time? Anytime. Uh, on Wednesdays? Yes. We're going to scroll down a little bit more. Anytime. Thursdays? Yes. And anytime on Thursdays also. Raleigh is making himself very available and very flexible. What about Fridays? Yes. Anytime on Fridays also. But Saturdays, Saturdays, yes. And anytime on Saturdays. Let's scroll down. How many hours would you like to work per week, including the weekend? Now there's some pre-selected answers here. We're gonna hit that symbol, a little upside down triangle, 31 to 40. Are you willing to consider a seasonal temporary role which may include the possibility of a future non-seasonal regular role? Absolutely, yes. Let's scroll down a little bit more. Were you referred by a community workforce agency or other staffing agency for this job? No. Great. Let's look really quickly to see that we have answered all of our questions properly and all of our asterisks have been answered. Great. Let's scroll back down and then we're going to click next. Great, we're almost there. Voluntary disclosures. At Target, we embrace diversity and strive to give everyone access to the same opportunities. To learn more about how this comes to life, click here to see information on our workforce and diversity and inclusion strategy. Now I want you to of course, read all of this information, very important, to let you know you have a safe space here at Target. Please select your gender, great. Select the option that it applies, great. Race, let's see. Yeah, great. Raleigh is two or more races. Hispanic, no. Great, let's move down. Terms and conditions. Of course, you want to read this very carefully. Please read carefully before submitting your application. Be sure to read all of this vital information. It tells about text messages. As a part of the employment process, you consent to receive communications from Target on any mobile device that corresponds to the telephone numbers you provided on your application. So they're telling you right away that they will be texting you. Great. Again, you want to read all that information. And once you've read it, 
yes, click right here. I've read and consent to the terms and conditions. Click next. Great. Now you want to review this information to make sure that all of your information, especially those phone numbers and email information is correct and up to date. You want to make sure. Great. Now you're just ready to submit. Congratulations. You're now one step closer to joining the target team and working somewhere you love. There's action requested. Please complete a brief work opportunity tax credit voluntary questionnaire. You gotta do that. Great. Do any of the statements apply to you? You or a household member receive unemployment, government assistant, assistance, welfare, food stamps, social security income, or have you been approved to receive unemployment compensation in 2020, served in the U.S. Armed Forces, received vocational rehab, rehab services, were convicted of a felony? That's a no, no, no. All right, great. So now we're going to submit the following information certified that none of the previous statements apply to you. And so we're going to put down Riley's information, Riley Woodson. The history address is 213 EST State Lane. And the zip code, 7082. And here you want to put down his social security number. Great. Are you under the age of 40? No. And now we click Submit. Congratulations on completing the tax screening process. Thank you. Great. You have completed the target application for the guest services position with Target. And now we want to thank you for viewing this video. If you have found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe and be sure to follow us on all our social media platforms. Thank you for tuning into the Career Center's YouTube channel. We wish you well on your job search journey.